going on everybody we are here doing in our mock draft we are doing the chargers today so obviously this is just after patrick uh not patrick <laughs> this is just after the patriots traded mac jones so i don't know if pff's gonna they didn't upgrade joe Holt goes at four though um okay so for the chargers normally i think they're gonna take brock bowers here because uh beforehand i thought there was a good chance that both marvin harrison and malik neighbors would be off the board but they're both still here brock bowers might be great but wide receiver matters more. Malik Neighbors is going to be the guy who the Chargers pick here because, again, wide receiver more important than a tight end. You can get tight ends at any point. Uh, here in the second round, they might just keep building on this defense. Chris Baswell is a fantastic player. Obviously, there is a tight end here. So if they really want a tight end, Sanders actually do like the Sanders pick for the Chargers here. I think this is a great pick and great place for the Chargers to be drafting him. Michael Penix is somehow in the third round. What the frick happened here? What the hell? Xavier Worldly could be another good pick. I like uh, Braylon Trisk, though. I think that is a fantastic selection for the Chargers. I think it's a good addition to their squad. As we move forward, uh, obviously, they could use probably a little line help. Their defense needs quite a bit of help. Tommy, uh, whatever the hell his last name is, could be good. He was not very great this last year. He struggled against basically everybody I and mean, we were in the fourth round so it's not like i'm expecting these guys to be some of the greatest players on planet earth but i do kind of still want them to be good this could be a good time for them to take a running back as it looks like eckler is probably gonna walk marshawn lloyd here it does look like a solid player we're, i mean again we're in what the fourth round so taking a running back in the fourth round it's gonna be kind of up in the air it's kind of what you think i think honestly he's probably the best cannot pronounce his name not a shocker <laughs> uh, names are are the <laughs> are a problem for me so i'm yeah he's the best running back though in those those two right there uh moving forward we're in round five now a linebacker could be pretty useful uh cedric gray here i mean just didn't play top tier comp uh competition so i don't love you know taking the guy who's just kind of didn't have much competition mason smith pretty solid he's a decent pass rusher which only three sacks and no sacks allowed. well he played one game but uh, he doesn't stop the run. That's not not a guy you want on your defensive line. Maybe here, um, Wendigo. Wendigo is probably the better pick. There's also Logan Lee. Logan Lee could be a solid pick. He does both really well. Honestly, I think Logan Lee might be the best of the three. Um, yeah, I, I like Logan Lee. I, I would go with Logan Lee here. Um, obviously, we're moving on. We, they still have three more picks, so we still have a few more picks to go through here. So we're gonna go ahead, and we are now in the sixth round. They do need a cornerback, so you know somebody like Stills here could be a solid addition. That's not bad. He was pretty solid uh, for Maryland. Uh, they could always take Christian McCaffrey's brother if they saw something in him. Uh, play that rice though. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about a sixth round guy here, so none of these guys are like guaranteed to necessarily be really good like ryan watts here that's terrible holy crap oh wow he was not good that, that's a prime definition uh anthony here ah, i don't know like again i know their defense is kind of what we are building they don't really need an edge at the current moment uh yeah honestly the guy from maryland or <laughs> mccaffrey's brother would have probably been the best pick there uh we're gonna go with the corner stills out of maryland Moving on to the seventh round, I believe, is both these next picks. Yeah, both in the seventh round. So none of these guys are necessarily great. I love this Trey Taylor guy. He does look like he's going to be pretty good. He just played at Air Force, so there wasn't a ton of rep. I do take him too often, though. I'm not going to take him in this draft because I've taken him in one of the other ones I have done. Uh, they could take another quarterback here. I mean, Dials, ugh, don't love it. But, I mean, we're talking about a guy going in the seventh round. These guys are probably not <coughs> going to truly make it in the nfl so it's kind of like you know you take a position or a player that you just think might have hope i mean jordan played at texas he did do decent i mean he was probably the third dairy wide receiver i mean so many texas receivers in this draft class they could also just go out and try to fill a need with curtis jacob again i think he's a bit of a pass rusher who probably didn't get sacks <laughs> um so maybe there you know uh 
They could go in our cornerback here, Willie Roberts. I mean, there's just not a ton. Willie Roberts actually was pretty good. I I like the Willie Roberts pick. I know they took a cornerback earlier, but getting two cornerbacks in the sixth and seventh rounds, I don't think it really matters that much if you take two of them. So I think that's a solid pick there. Moving on in, this is the last pick they have. Another seventh round draft pick. Maybe they go ahead and take a linebacker. Nathan Watson here. Solid. You know, I mean, he actually was pretty good. Uh, he played at Mississippi State, so... <coughs> He struggled against the better opponents, which is a little concerning. But again, we're talking about a guy going in late rounds. But I do think Jordan is better here. I cannot pronounce his last name. I'm not going to try. I don't like butchering people's last names. I like butchering people's names. So if you don't hear me announce one, it's because I don't want to butcher it. I like this pick. I think they go ahead and take a linebacker here. Let's see what my grade is. I don't think they're going to love every single pick because, you know, I don't follow their thing. But, you know, I have always basically getting A on the draft class. They love the Malik neighbors, uh, the Sanders picks, whatever. Braylon Thompson got an A, A minus overall. Not a bad draft class. Um, I think this will help them quite a bit. I think this infuses some youth. I mean, some talent too. Like some of these guys, like these two down here, they could be good. They just went to small name schools and they don't have the recognition that everybody else has. But if you guys enjoy these, I'm trying to do all 32 teams before the NFL draft. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think, who you would have drafted. I'll see you guys in the next one.